Next proclamation will be um, read by Councilman John Taylor Chapman, congratulating the Universal Lodge Number no. One on its 170th anniversary. As the brothers uh, come on up, um, as a member of as a member of uh, Lincoln Lodge number 11, it gives me great pleasure to pre present this proclamation tonight. For those who don't know, uh, we have brothers here from uh, Universal Lodge number one. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to have introductions. Uh, Worshipful Master Flores will probably say a few words. I'll present the proclamation, and then we'll move the proclamation. <coughs> Good evening, MacArthur Myers, treasurer. Earl Cook, audit member. Richard Williams, past master. Past master Al Hadi Rollins. Lorenzo Myers. Past master Tom Robinson. <clears throat> Madam Vice Mayor, Councilman, um, my name is MacArthur Myers. And I'm glad to be here, and I want to thank the Archaeological Society for helping us establish our home, um, South Royal Street. Um, Universal Lodge Number no. 1 is the oldest lodge, Prince Hall Lodge, in the state of Virginia, 1845, February the 5th. And without saying too much because of the time schedule, I'll pass it on to you. Good evening. My name is Jaime Flores. I have the distinction, the honor of being the Worshipful Master of Universal Lodge Number no. 1. I bring you greetings from our Grand Master. Roger Brown and our District Deputy Grand Master James Gordon and the entire 31st Masonic District, along with uh, brothers from the craft throughout the state of Virginia. Uh, the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge Virginia Free and Accepted Masons is a fraternal organization dedicated to the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, an organization which takes good men and makes them better. We promote family values and significantly aid in the uplifting of humanity. It's truly an honor to receive this uh, proclamation. Uh, 170 years, we were, we were founded uh, in South Royal Street. Uh, our lodge still stands, and we're still doing that work in the community. Um, I also like to say I have the distinction of also being the first Latino, first Puerto Rican worshipful master of the oldest Prince Hall Grand Lodge, Virginia. As we know, people are, are, are watching TV, I would like to say a couple words in Spanish. Hola, mi nombre es Jaime Flores. Soy miembro de Universal Lodge Number 1. Y le quiero dar muchas gracias al City Council por esta proclamación. Gracias. All right, the proclamation. Whereas Prince Hall Freemasonry began in Alexandria on February 5th, 1845, in what was then known as Alexandria, D.C., it was created by three seamen who had been initiated Masons at the St. George Lodge, number 32, Liverpool, England. And whereas their names were William Dudley, Sandy Bryant, and Benjamin Cryer. And whereas they settled in Alexandria in 1838 and became members of Social Lodge Number 7, Washington, D.C. The lodge began to function on August 26, 1845, with George Sims as Worshipful Master Charter. Worshipful Master. Charter members included Ephraim Bancroft, Dennis Borden, Pete Coston, Ed Edward Evans, James Evans, Richard Garrett, Joseph Gibson, Alfred Hamilton, Reverend Robert Robinson, and George Sims. And whereas the only Prince Hall Masonic Lodge in Virginia for almost 20 years, Universal Lodge held regular meetings on the second floor of a house on South Royal Street, 424 South Royal Street, in a section of Alexandria known then as Haiti. And despite the intimidation perpetrated against these Masonic brothers, they continued to hold their meetings. And whereas Universal Lodge number one continues today and is celebrating its 170th anniversary, February 5th, 2015, and whereas Universal Lodge Number 1 has been an integral part of Alexandria community addressing issues such as slavery, schools, education, church buildings, and the general welfare of the African American community. I now therefore, John Chapman, on behalf of William D. Yule, Mayor of the City of Alexandria, Virginia, and on behalf of the Alexandria City Council, do hereby congratulate Universal Lodge Number 1 on the celebration of its 170th anniversary 
and look forward to its continued service to the city of Alexandria. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the city, the city, the, excuse me, the seal of the city of Alexandria to be affixed this 10th day of February, 2015. Congratulations. Motion by, Mr. by Councilman Chapman, seconded, seconded by Councilman Wilson. All those, all right, we're going to take a picture and we'll, then we'll vote. <laughs> all right, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Chief Cook, thank you.